Hello everyone, welcome back to 2 Minute Tips, let's get started. Pipe text is one of the best ways to create personalized survey experiences for your respondents by customizing your questions and answer choices for each respondent. So what exactly is pipe text? Well, it's a line of code that pulls information from different areas of the survey and displays it to the respondent. The examples we'll go over today include piping from a previous question, a GeoIP location, date and time, and a random number generator. Please note that you can also use pipe text to pull information from a ton of other sources, including embedded data, scoring categories, contact lists, loop and merge, and even quotas. Now that we understand what pipe text is, let's head over to our survey builder and begin taking a look at how to add it to our survey. Let's go to the question we wish to add pipe text to. In this case, I want to replace the word this with the actual favorite color the respondent chose in the first question. I can do this by selecting the question, deleting the word I want to replace, clicking the pipe text button up here, selecting survey question as my source, specifying which survey question, and clicking the selected choices option. Now when someone answers the first question, the code will automatically pipe in the selected choice into the second question. Please note that if you are using the rich content editor to write your questions, you can also insert pipe text by selecting this button up here. Now let's head over to the third question and add a few pipe text elements that are commonly used. If we want to pipe in the location of the respondent, we have a few different options to choose from, including the city, state or region, and country. For now, let's just go ahead and pipe in the state or region. For the date slash time pipe text, we have the option of choosing the current date the respondent is taking the survey on, or a different date. For now, we'll choose the current date and select one of the many formats included. Lastly, when piping in a random number, we have a choice of using an integer, decimal, or boolean option. In this case, I want a randomly generated four digit number, so we'll choose integer. Let's make sure that all of this pipe text works by previewing the survey. As we can see, the second question has the same answer choice I selected in the first question. And this question has the correct state, date, and a randomly generated four digit number. And that's it. Thank you for learning how to use pipe text in your Qualtrics survey with me today. Please remember to subscribe to the two minute tip category on the XM community so you never miss a video. And I hope to see you around the XM community.